You can now use recursive components in Flutterflow. That is, you can use a component inside itself. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use them and some practical examples of when you would wanna use them. Let's start with recursion. And if you don't know what recursion is, you can Google recursion and then did you mean recursion and then click did you mean recursion and then you'll have your answer. But to summarize, recursion is where you can call a function within that same function, or in our case, where you can use a component within that same component. Okay, but why would you ever want to do that? Well, it's easiest to understand with an example. Let's say you have a comments thread. So you have a component for each comment. But what if you want your users to have the ability to respond to comments? So you're commenting on a comment. Well, then you need another comment component that would exist inside that first component. And we already have a comment component. So instead of building another one, why don't we just use the one we already have. That's recursive components. And the central idea of recursive components is that they're ideal for simplifying complex hierarchies. So whenever you have a hierarchy of similar components, consider using recursive components. All right, let's build a real world example. So here we're going to build this file explorer with recursive components. So first, let's look at how we structure our backend. So here's the structure of our backend. It's surprisingly simple. We have two collections, a collection of folders and a collection of of files. Each folder will have a name and a parent folder ID. Now, what is that? Well, let me show you the data that we're working with and it'll make more sense. So here we've got a couple different folders, one for taxes, one for vacation and photos. Now, the taxes folder and the photos folder are both root folders at the top of the hierarchy. But this vacation folder has a parent folder ID that is the same as the photos ID. And that's because this is a folder that is inside, that is a subfolder of this photos folder. And this is how we'll handle that logic. Okay, let's look at the files. Our files collection is also similar. We've got the name of our file and the folder ID. And let's look at some of our documents to understand this. So you can see here for our w2.pdf has a folder ID that ends in this R3. So if we come up here, we can see we got our folder right here that ends in R3. And that's how these are linked together. The folder ID is what identifies which folder this file is in. All right, great. Now let's go build our UI. So on our page, we simply have a list view right here, which is making a backend call to our folders collection. And we're setting a filter on it so that at this top level, we'll only see those root folders because on the top level, it's only those root folders that you're gonna see. Okay, great. Then we get to the actual meat of this layout and that's this component, this folder files component. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see that this component accepts one parameter, which is a document. So that's each folder document that we're getting from this query. Okay, let's go into this component and see how this is structured. So here's our component, it has three three main sections right here. Our parent folder, our subfolders, if there are any, and files, if there are any. You can see over here, this is where we've defined our parameter where we're passing in this folder document. So let's just walk through each one of these main sections. In our parent folder right here, you can see that we simply got a folder icon and the name of the folder. And that's simply bound to that component parameter. So that folder that's coming in, the name of the folder, simple enough. We're gonna skip over the subfolder folders because that's the most difficult one and the, and the one that has this component in it and it'll make more sense once we understand the whole structure. So here on our files, we are making a backend query to our files collection. So remember, each one of these components is a folder that might have files in. Now those files are in a different collection, so we need to make a query to that collection, but we don't want all the files because not all the files are in each folder. They're in their specific folder, their parent folder. So here we're getting those files if there are any, and we're filtering through them. So we're looking at the folder ID of each file, that is, that's the ID of the folder that this file is in, and we're seeing if it's equal to the document ID, the reference of that folder document that we're in. In short, we're grabbing the files that are in this folder. Okay, great. Then finally, we get to the meat right here, the subfolder, because in here is the component itself. And this is where the recursion makes sense because each one of these components will have a name for itself. It might have some subfolders and it might have some files. So that same 
pattern will recurse at the next level of the hierarchy. And this is where it can get a little bit confusing. So let's walk through this. On this list view right here, we are making a query and we want our folders because we're looking for our subfolders. And we are filtering through and we are saying, for you folder, what is your parent folder? And we only want to see those folders whose parent folder is that folder we passed into this component. In other words, we're saying to this folder, hey, parent folder, give me all of your children folders. So this folder, the reference, the document ID of that folder that's passed in. And this is the way that we get our children folders. And so after we have those, that is what we are passing into this component. That's the logic of how we get the children folders. And once you do that, you'll get a structure that looks like this. Beautiful. Recursive components are great for simplifying complex hierarchies. They're often used with things like menu navs, where you have menu items and then sub items, comment threads, and file explorers. We can't wait to see what you'll build with recursive components, and we'll see you in the next video. In the world of flutter flow, where the colors play, and new features rise and change the game today. Common threads and explorers organize with grace, and new navs and your tasks all in the right place. Recursion immersion is how we survive. Recursive magic works, can't keep it inside. Did you catch that trick? It's a clever inclusion. A verse or a chorus, it's both. It's recursion. It's recursion. A parent and a child and the child within It's a code inception, let the fun begin A fractal of functions, a beautiful maze Flutter flows, engineers be like way to craze Recursion inversion, it's how we survive Recursive magic happens, can't keep it inside Did you catch that trick? It's a clever inclusion A verse or a chorus, it's both It's recursion